Hello, Zebra Herd. Welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today, we're taking a look at the Lawn of Doom prize map. It's back from last year. As you can see, it basically has everything completed except for the, um, the, the only two things I missed. This was the only prize map where I didn't get everything done. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on in this episode and in next episode is just getting those two things out of the way. So first thing we're going to be doing today is checking out the Mythic Minotaur Legendary Hat for the Colonel Corn. Very cool looking one. I like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and unlock this legendary hat. And while we're at it, actually, yeah, that was the only thing. Yeah, because I got that, and then I can get the super scarab outfit. We already checked out the other legendary super brains one last year. So those are the two things we're gonna be showcasing this episode and next episode. Looking forward to it. But for right now, we are going to head into some turf takeover with the Colonel Corn and check out that legendary hat. Okay, so before we customize anything else. We'll just take a look at the Mythic Minotaur hat. So glad I finally have this one. I was super bummed that I missed out on it last year, but hey, came all the way around the calendar and now I got it back. That's always cool to see. So yeah, Lawn of Doom's actually almost over already. <laughs> it's been a busy month for me, so I haven't been able to play too much PVZ, but I'm glad to be back at it before it all ends. But yeah, we got the prize map done, which means I've now technically gotten every single prize map done. I got a Vanquish share. Oh, oh, that's so cool. So, I don't know if you guys saw that too much. I think I've seen the effect before on other players, but the Minotaur basically pulls out a sword and a shield and starts clanging them together like it's ready to go into battle. Oh, did that not count? I guess not. Okay, who do we got over here? I don't think I have any, any character upgrades equipped, so I'll have to change that between like spawns or whatever. I'll toss one of those over. I see that super brains. Oh my. Um. I heard a ZPG. I don't see one now. Oh my. <laughs> okay, who do we got over here? I got gotcha. you. Maybe. You get back here, mister. There it is, see, let's see. Brings out that sword and shield. Ah, oh, the shield has like a rainbow coloring to it. Very cool. I'm tossing that over. Gotcha. I did not get the 80s action hero though. So far, so good though, we're getting those vanquishes. Somebody else got them. That's all we need. All right, let's move it over. But yeah, you know, this sort of, <laughs> it's nice to be back in a holiday event that actually gives legendary hats again. Don't mean to throw shade on the previous event, but that, that still really bummed me out that the last two events, no legendary hat. So cool that I at least got to showcase this one. Of course, there are plenty of non-event legendary hats I still need to showcase, and I'll be trying to get to those sooner or later. I've been sort of focusing on what's timely for Battle for Neighborville for the last while, but now that there's no more events, maybe I can start turning my attention to other things I've been meaning to do, I just haven't had the time to. Because, you know, if I have the time, I might as well showcase the events that are actually currently going on, you know? But now I've gotten all this completed, so that's cool. Oh boy. Okay, get the scientist, uh, not quite. Maybe I should just help my team capture this point, that's probably a better idea. That didn't get anybody. <laughs> I can see the glow of the turret, but I guess it wasn't quite close enough. There we go, turret's gone. Couldn't quite get the wizard either. We made a little bit of a dent though. Other people are moving in. All right, come on, come on. Here we go. We got four minutes to capture this one. Hopefully it all goes well. As long as we work with our team, we should be fine. Once again, I still need to spawn, or not spawn. Um. I need to add some character upgrades because I think they updated the game and it cleared everybody's character upgrades. You just have to like reapply them, but it was just, haven't gotten around to it. Oh boy, whoa, watch it. Not happening. Mm, that was good, that was really good. Okay, Minotaur's happy about that one. Come on, get this guy. Oh, almost got you. Feels good to play Colonel Corn again. I haven't played Colonel Corn too much recently. One of my favorite classes. Just being able to point and shoot and just earn a bunch of vanquishes is always fun. Not too much, you know, crazy strategy in it. Just trying to keep accurate. All right then, capture old four completed. Get that engineer a little bit. He is so low on health. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, he's too quick. Such a big target, but still so fast. Yeah, I can't quite get him. Somebody got the uh, electric slide now. How has nobody gotten that engineer? Maybe he respawned. I don't wanna be too surprised. Okay, well, we're moving on to the cheese counter. We've gotten this far and have done this well. 
I don't think the cheese count is gonna be all that much different. We'll find out. Hmm. Yeah, what's going on over here? Got the butter on the scientist. Couldn't quite finish him, but. That got him, very good. See you, scientist. Anybody on this point just needs to be vanquished. Did we already get it? A few good cheese counter shots should overheat the drill and expose the weak core. Yep. No, okay, still contested. By who? Oh, you. Come on, gotcha. We're doing really good. Yeah, we can earn us some prize bulbs now. We were at our maximum before, but I guess, you know, we spent 10 more. Oh, can we take him out? Not quite. There's just a lot of action going on in this round now. I love it. There it is. Oh my, this might be trouble. <laughs> oh, you got me. Okay, there we go. We got some more. We're at the 16 vanquishes already. We're destroying them. That's what I like to see. So now we're gonna focus on the drill. I think I'm fine with it. If we, if we end this round earlier than you know what is possible, I'm cool with that. Oh, definitely get rid of you first. Probably should have set up the butter, but we made it work. Oh, who's behind me? Hey, catch. No, no. Oh, not bad, not bad at all. He didn't do any damage to me. Excellent. That's not doing any damage to the drill, though. Gonna get to a better angle. There's just so many people to vanquish at any given moment. It's getting a little crazy. Where's the super brains? Oh, no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. Okay, somebody got gotcha. you. I just need to hide out for a little bit. This is actually a pretty comfy little spot to hit the drill. Hopefully nobody notices me for long enough that I can notice them first. Don't you dare. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Got him, okay. I don't know if I'll be able to get you, but at least I got the wizard. Hmm. I want to apply those upgrades, but now's not the time. If we can just keep moving forward. Wow, the trail go went down real fast there. And the 38%. I wonder if the, like, the percentage doesn't go down while you're respawning, so that was like the UI catching up or something. Because that seems like a little uncharacteristically fast. What do we have over there? We got a space cadet. I don't think this is a good idea, but it might work. Ah, uh, not really. Ooh. Oh, hello. Let's take you out, or not. Yeah, that didn't do any damage. I can still attack the wizard, even when the uh, the electric slide is invincible. That's interesting. Okay, 17%. We still have four minutes, plenty of time to get it done but you never know when they might start striking a turnaround, so I think it's, you know, sooner the better. And luckily with Colonel Corn, I can back up a pretty safe ways away and still be able to damage it. Down to 15. Oh no. Oh, look at this, this guy has the same hat, same Colonel Corn and everything. Wow, okay, Captain Deadbeard's not being so kind to me right now. I gotta go even farther back. Ooh, who's reviving me? I don't even see anybody. Oh, it's Nightcap. Thanks. Back on that drill. You know the drill. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on, come on. Mmm, not bad. Where am I going? <laughs> Captain Deadbeard got me again there, though. Okay, we're back. 7% on the drill. I didn't even have a chance that time. Tried to move out of the way, but they just got me immediately. I think that our team has this under control, though. If it doesn't work out for us, like if we get vanquished, as long as the team is still hitting that drill, it's at 4%, I'm just gonna focus on it. I don't care if anybody attacks me. There we go, we win. Very good first round to start today off. Oh, plenty of vanquishes with the Colonel Corn. We saw that uh, that Minotaur just keep clanging and clanging in his, his sword and shield. So let's see if that keeps going in the next round. All right, got some character upgrades on him, nothing crazy. I also wanna see what different costumes we can do. Maybe we could keep going with that Halloween vibe, get the Corn Brotherhood costume out here, and maybe we could continue to customize it from there. I like the collar of masking, and... 
Hmm. Sure. <laughs> Does it fit? Not really, but we're gonna go for it. See, what are your thoughts on the Mythic Minotaur hat, or is it Mythical Minotaur? One of the two. The Mythical Minotaur hat for the Colonel Corn. Have you been able to check it out? Have you been able to uh, make your way through the Lawn of Doom event? I hope that you were able to grab anything you missed the first time around. Maybe you didn't even have the chance to play the game back then. I know a lot of people still were trying to get around to get the game at that point in time, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. Oh my, one person back there almost vanquished. There we go. Can I still get you guys? Oh, there it is, very cool. This is going crazy right now, I love it. What we got over here? That electric slide was very low on health. Snapdragon walked right faster. Oh my, oh my, jump around, I don't wanna get hit by that. Oh, reload, reload. Oh, the game lagged out a little bit there. Hey, <laughs> there we go, that worked. Team's pushing the payload and everything too, good to see. Awesome, times five vanquish streak already. Can't really ask for much better, can you? Yeah, I definitely like the hat. For me, it's worth the effort put into it because I really already had the gems. It wasn't too much more extra effort for me. Um, but yeah, after a year of waiting, is it worth it? I think so. To be able to officially say I have every single item out of every single event, all 12 of them, that's a pretty cool feat to be able to say. And at this point, the only thing is I have to work on as far as I understand when it comes to getting all the items is all of the non-timed event stuff. So I think I have all of the Rux items as far as I can tell. I check Rux every now and then and no new items pop up. Not even any new victory slabs or taunts or anything. So I'm pretty sure that means that the remaining items I need are going to be from either, uh, oh boy, that hurt very quickly. They, they got a little bit more of a organized defense now. Okay, see ya. <laughs> but um, are either gonna be from the Rewardatron 3000 or the story mode. Those are the two things I'm still trying to get all, everything from. And I just need to put more time into the, to it. I know we can get it done, especially you know if you guys are interested in seeing more story mode stuff. I'm sorry that I really haven't done it. It's been a year. <laughs> But I'll get around to it now. I mean, I got the main portion, the most important, most interesting parts of story mode done right away. It was more the um, the extra stuff, going through getting all the gnomes, finding all the collectibles, all that kind of stuff. The stuff that can really take some time, the extra challenges. And it's like, I really enjoy doing that for the areas I did get it done in. It just takes a ton of time. Like I said, I've been usually busy with the events and stuff. I know a lot of people have been talking about like what's the future Plants vs. Zombies right now because I think even more news has dropped since we last played. Of course, if you're out of the loop, Battle for Neighborville has been confirmed to be ceasing development, basically. Um, there's no new content confirmed after this and they've basically confirmed that they don't plan on adding new content to the game, so we basically have all the existing events starting this month on repeat. Um, so if you miss any of the events and you can you, you get the chance to get all the items, which is awesome, but if you're looking for anything new to be added, new characters, new maps, new anything, doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Maybe that'll change in the future, we can only hope, but in the meantime, I wanna assume so. Oh, nice, that was good. But what it's also been concerned, con confirmed, and it's also concerning, <laughs> um, is that Plants vs. Zombies 3, which has always been sort of in alpha or beta, it's been in the middle of development for most of this year, and it was actually confirmed that it's getting taken out of the open beta mode, so it was only available as a soft launch in certain countries. Ow, I didn't even know he, I thought somebody vanquished him. Maybe there was two super brains running around, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's sort of a common costume right now because, you know, it's in season. <laughs> it's fashionable. But yeah, Plants vs. Zombies 3 was soft launch in specific countries. We did a short series on it. I didn't beat the game, but I got pretty far into it. I think we did about 27 episodes. And I enjoyed it, but it was just, I, I wanted to wait until it was maybe a little bit more completed because there were some things about it that I just wasn't enjoying so much. Um, it, it had its good parts and its bad parts. But they've confirmed that they're taking it out of the early launch mode. Um, not to say that they're releasing it, but they're sort of taking a step backwards to reassess the entire game. Which is never a good sign. <laughs> I mean, it could lead to great things, but what I think this really means is, hey, our current idea for this game isn't working out, and we need to take a step back and really go to the roots of the game and see what's wrong. Because while Plants vs. Zombies 3 was fun, it wasn't really what I think or what I think a lot of people were expecting um, when they hear Plants vs. Zombies 3. This is like, 
a new Plants vs. Zombies tower defense game that's sorta of different. In the same way that like Plants vs. Zombies um Adventure, that that which was a browser game from like almost 10 years ago. That was a tower defense game, but it wasn't like a new Plants vs. Zombies mainline game. It was its own thing. I think they should have went for that kind of naming scheme. Because it just, it doesn't really fill, I think, what most people are expecting of PVZ3. Especially since, you know, the, the development of PVZ2 is still planned to continue. They've been adding new plants. Um, that is still gonna be the case. Okay, excuse me, sir. I'm busy, don't you see? I don't know if we're gonna be able to win this. We've been doing so well, but apparently not well enough. See, so, yeah, with all of that going on, with Battle for Neighborville's development ceasing, with PVZ3 going backwards in its development rather than forwards, it's sort of leaving a lot of people saying, well, what's gonna be next? Is there gonna be a new PVZ game? What, what's gonna happen? And I guess we'll talk about it more in the next round. All right, so we're back on the defense. Cause we were on the defense the first round. No, we weren't. Okay, this is actually our first time on the defense. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't even need the shuck shot. All right, that's fine. We can get that super brains real easy. You can always tell when the AI opponents are just gonna sort of be silly. Gotcha. Like this guy, he's just sort of standing there. Even if he gets to revive. Oh my gosh, already at times five Vanquish Street. This is what I'm talking about. I see you up there. I'm gonna give you a hard time. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to get me from this angle. They're trying, they're really trying, but sorry, I got gotcha. you. Oh, I see that Captain Deadbeard now. But it's a computer player, so I don't think I should be too worried. All right, ready? Boom, boom. Oh, I got one, didn't get the other. But we still got you, and we saved the nightcap. Oh my, here we go, here we go. Okay, wow, close one. Captain Deadbeard's still over here, is he moving? He's moving, okay. Oh, they're taking the point right now? No good. Gotcha. And this guy on the point too. If we could put a stop to that, that'd be great. Whoa. They have a lot of computer players right now. At least like four or five. Let's find out. Yeah, at least like four or five. Okay, dude, you gotta get off the point then. They've already gotten most of it there. Which shows you, just because we're vanquishing a lot of them doesn't mean they can't get away with us. Who's over here? Who are you firing at? Oh, this thing. <laughs> Definitely get rid of that. Excellent. Okay. Oh my, I don't even know who's hitting me right now. <laughs> Gotta go. Oh boy, there he is, the super brains. We're going crazy right now. What's our vanquish we got? 11. Let's keep it moving. This guy doesn't see me, tries to hop in the barrel, but he's a little too late. Ah, oh, he got me. 12 vanquish streak though. Not a problem at all, I'm really happy about that. But yeah, so what's going on for the next, you know, what's next up for PVZ? Nobody really knows, but I think a couple of the employees have confirmed that it's not going anywhere. I think even in the PVZ3 update post, they're like, the game's not canceled, PVZ games aren't canceled, uh, we're still working on stuff. So like, I think you know that's all we have to work on now. And I think it's good to take their word for it. Why would they lie, you know? <laughs> so I think that's cool that they are working on new stuff and I really hope it goes well for them, as per usual. I'm sure you guys know by now by the fact that this is the 261st episode of the series. I really like the Plants vs. Zombies game, so I'm really hoping that more cool stuff comes from them. PopCap is definitely one of my favorite game developers. Oh boy. Not even just PVZ, but you know, all the other games they've published, back even in like the browser days in San Aquarium, um, Peggle, all really cool games. Anyways, it looks like yeah, they got, um, they got that point. But we held them off for a good while, so that's always nice. Okay. Oh my, oh my. Who are we getting here? That wasn't too bad. I got one vanquish out of it. I was expecting to run into some degree. I'm almost getting a little tired of this sound effect though. Great hat, but when you're getting this many vanquishes, you just hear clang, 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 clang all the time. All right. Gotcha. 
And let's keep them off this point for as long as we can. I don't know why I threw the butter. There's nobody around, but I guess that confirms that. Okay, just trying to watch out for where they are right now. Let's throw a couple of these down. I might be able to put a little bit of a stop to them. Oh, come on, come on. Gotcha. That was just a spawnable. You can never tell nowadays. Whoa. Hey, now, get off the point. <laughs> we both have the same idea that you did yours a little bit better. Oh, my. Where are the enemies at? Here they are. There's too many of them now. My attention was divided. Oh, it was a space cadet. All right. We're top vanquisher right now, too. This is, this is going well. All right, um, hmm. We'll definitely go for you first, because you're just a computer player. Oh no, don't hit the windmill. I think it hit the windmill. All right, come on, go, go, go. Oh boy. Gotcha. No, <laughs> I keep on getting messed up by the windmill. It really is a shame though that we might not be able to see some of the extra content that was being worked on for this game because it looked like they had some pretty cool ideas. Definitely get rid of that bucket if I can. Okay, maybe my focus was a little bit too much on that. I just let that sign sort of take me out. I don't know if they're gonna end up getting this point or not. I wouldn't mind if we ended up putting a stop to them, but we still have two and a half minutes to do so. They're about halfway through to capturing it. It's gonna be close. But yeah, I've had a lot of people ask if I plan on playing these games less now that they're not being updated. And like obviously with less things being added to the game, there's less content I can technically make for it, but there's still plenty of things to cover in this game and in PVZ2 that I haven't gotten to yet. And honestly, I've had some long-term projects I've been planning on. I'm still probably a while out from them. I don't even think this upcoming year, but maybe 2022. <laughs> That's a long time from now. I wanted to do a playthrough of Plants vs. Zombies for the DS. It's one of my favorite DS games, and it's a lot of people don't know about it, that there was a DS Plants vs. Zombies game, and it's 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 just a port of the original, but it's so different in so many interesting ways that like, I really want to show it off one day. So that'll be cool to do. It's like, yeah, there's still more PVZ stuff coming, don't worry. Okay. Well, that's the third time now I've hit the windmill. There we go. I think we've got him here. We'll keep going, try to be extra sure about that. Ooh, gotcha. Oh no, this guy's definitely, ow, a real player. <laughs> that hurt. Ooh, thank you, Citron being a good teammate, reviving me, I appreciate it. There's an all-star right down that way. Well, let me just throw that butter down. It didn't really change much. It got the one all-star. Oh, he's got some good aim. I can't see what's happening. None of that landed. Oh, but I got that super brain. So we just have to hold on for 30 seconds. Good job, Chomper. Okay, can I hide out for a couple more seconds? No, I can't. I don't know who hit me there. Oh, got him. Got it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, maybe I should focus on the scientist instead because he's the one actually uh, healing everybody there. Come on, get him, get him. One of those shots sorta kinda landed. I'm coming over. Yeah, got him. Somehow we were surviving most of that. It's in overtime now. Come on, team. This is gonna be a close one. It looks like, yeah, none of them are on it, but the overtime t is still ticking down quite slowly at the moment. Gotta hold out for longer. He's gone. Oh no. Will that get him? Not really. I'm just trying to vanquish anybody who touches the point. But there's a lot of them now. Uh, oh, right into the thunderstorm. 
No, they actually got it there too, yikes. I was not expecting that. I thought we could really defend. Okay, that's fine. Defend the barn. Defending the barn is definitely gonna be more difficult than defending the windmill, from what I've experienced, but we'll make the most of it. Hmm. I don't know if a healing flower was really what I meant to do there. But let's definitely hold them back and distract them for as long as we possibly can. It looks like there's plenty of players out doing the same exact thing. Which is really, really good. Hmm. Oh, got you over here. Got him. Nice. Oh, the double hit on him. I actually got the vanquish too. Wow. Excellent. Hmm. No, I'm out of bounds. Okay, the game's like, enough of this. You're being mean. Sorry. Just trying to be tactfully uh, minded. That's one way to describe it. Let's keep it moving though. Because they still haven't even breathed on the point. The zombies breathe? I mean, they're undead. Do they really need to breathe? I don't know. Okay, well, that didn't turn out so well. They're rushing in pretty hard now. We might be in a bit of trouble. I'm still top vanquisher, but not by much. Okay. Hmm. I'll try to stay a little bit farther back. Now that they're sort of showing some muscle, I probably need to throw in the, the, uh, the butter. I threw the butter way too far. Somehow I got that super brains up there, which I guess that's a good heads up that, hey, there's some super brains up here. Oh no, he's gonna try to square off with me. He's got his friend coming in. Don't you dare. Ooh, you're in trouble. You're in trouble, but not enough in trouble. Oh, wait, oh, did I get him? I got him. Okay, it was a trade, fair trade there. I think I think that's good. If we're squaring off with super brainses and we actually have more vanquishes on them than they have on us, I think that shows that we're doing really well this round because super brains are really tough to go against, especially for somebody who just doesn't have a ton of health like the Colonel Corn. All right, boom, gonna throw that out there. Again, sort of threw it too far. Actually, that wasn't too bad. He's got the butter on him. Okay. Who's down here? Uh, wizard. Not for long. I didn't even check to see if there was actually anybody down here. I just sort of launched those. Definitely get rid of that scientist before he revives. Good. This super brains out. <laughs> He's just chilling out. He's trying to make that fist reach, but it doesn't. Come on, come on, come on, that's it, that's it. Got him, very good. Oh no, oh, he missed it. This was a mistake. <laughs> Thought I had my um my shot there, but I don't. I don't know, we could end up defending here. It's sort of like an anything goes kind of thing. Minute and a half left over, they don't even have halfway there. We we'll definitely get rid of that. We don't want them launching in damage from afar. It's not useful for us, obviously. Engineer had no health, but I think somebody might have taken him out. <laughs> he just like turns around, makes a straight line towards me. Ooh, come on, come on. Where is he going? What is he doing? I don't think he even knows. Bit of a wild card. A lot of them are trying to come in from this side, it seems. We are making it difficult to do it any other way, right? Oh, get the scientist. See ya, buddy. Who was over here? Okay. Got him. Got his turret. Looking good. Let's see if that'll reach. Oh, it will actually. That was a decent throw because it got two of them. Okay, quickly get this guy before he notices. He just sort of stopped playing. If we're doing really good. We might get top anglisher here. That'd be awesome if we do. Come on. 
Hold him back, 10 seconds remaining. Maybe we can just force him even out of overtime. That'd be great. We need to vanquish you first. And him. Come on, he's just up there. He has next to no health. Come on, Snapdragon. Behind you, Snapdragon. They're capturing it now, too. This is a problem. Come on, you have no health. How did the Snapdragon miss you? You're just chilling out over here with no health. Okay, broke that barrel. Very good move. Come on, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. No, they just barely extended the overtime. Good job, Nightcap. Nobody's getting through this way. I'm telling you that right now, Mr. Deadbeard. And I think we won, awesome. So there's a victory for us. So two victories and one loss today. Looking pretty good, I'm happy with that one. Awesome. And we got a ton of vanquishers. I think we might have gotten top vanquisher again. So there was a look at the legendary Mythic Minotaur hat for the Colonel Corn from the Lawn of Doom event. So glad that I finally got this one. Wonderful hat, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, and yeah, stay tuned, next episode will be showcasing the final thing for the Lawn of Doom event that I once again missed last year. That is going to be the um, Super Scarab for the Super Brains. Very, very cool. And like I said before, pretty sure I am fresh out of stuff here. The only thing that's new is that you can have a star doubler. If you have a thousand stars, you can just pay a thousand to get 2,000. Interesting deal. Um, yeah, a thousand stars is about six or seven dollars worth, it seems. Okay. Um, not too bad if that's you know what you're looking for. If you already have a thousand stars, it's a no-brainer. I don't know if it's worth getting a thousand stars to get that, unless you planned on spending all of them. I don't know. Either way, with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.